Um, it was concerning to see an essay chosen that said things like um, uh, women and men are not exactly equal, because I think that um, a woman's value is in uh, their being able to do what they're passionate about and what they want to do and having that autonomy to do, do, to do so. Amelia Kazakowicz gives her thoughts on the essay that won third prize in the Her Vision Inspires essay contest run by Alberta's Legislative Assembly and the Commonwealth Women Parliamentarians Canadian Region that asked women between the ages of 17 to 25 to share their vision for the province and what they would do as an MLA. Kazakowicz's essay speaks about how the province should change their approach toward the OP crisis, the overloaded health care system, and invest in more supports. The third prize-winning essay suggests women shouldn't hold the same jobs as men and their main strength is bearing children. It's just a factor of biology that women can reproduce. Um, it has nothing to do at all with their, um, their intellect, for example, or um, their contributions apart from that to society. Another thing that disturbed the women's and gender studies professor in the essay is the line that likens immigration to cultural suicide. Sadly, we know that there are pockets, um, you know, of, um, of racism and hate um, and misogyny in this province. It makes me sad to be you know, and Albertan, and again, really worried. The two judges of the essay contest, Jackie Armstrong Hominyuk and Jackie Lovely, came under fire for their decisions, with NDP MLA Raki Pancholi calling on them to resign from their positions. Armstrong Hominyuk apologized in a Facebook statement, saying, It's clear that the process failed, and I apologize for my role in that. The selection of this particular essay and awarding it with third prize was a failure on my part as the head of the judging panel. Kazakowicz doesn't think think resignation is the solution. I think, you know, an apology is fine. There weren't that many. I mean, I, I, I kind of don't think that um, telling people to resign for making a mistake is super productive. Um, and so I think, you know, whatever is going to be the most productive is probably an apology and changed behavior. The women's and gender studies professor says she hopes the writer of the third prize essay, who's published as S. Silver, is doing okay amid the backlash. You know, she may be a young 18-year-old who's thinking, um, you know, this is this is fair. This is the way that I'm thinking. I'm going to express my views. And then to be attacked like this, and of course, social media is particularly bad for that. So I hope she's getting some support, not support for her views, but support uh, for being able um, to express herself in an appropriate way. In Edmonton, Sarah Chu, City News.